for the serious gamer. What's going on, people? It's Guntryer here from Next Gen Tactics, and we got more agency tryouts in the uh, live stream the subscribers. This is Agent GTFO. Uh, if you don't know what that means, uh, look it up. I'm not going to say it. it. Like no. Yes, so, and uh, he uh, is part of our live stream, and he was uh, part of the group with, uh, oh, obviously, you'll see it yeah. with a chunk of videos that are out right that now. He was in that group that night that they gave the NGT Elite a real run for the money. Um, again, I don't know. I'm not discrediting these guys by any means. I don't know if it was just them tired or these guys collectively as a group uh, just sort of hit them. You know, maybe they were unaware. They weren't ready for it. They weren't ready for back-to-back -back beasts. Beasts of contestants. Maybe that's what happened. Um, anyway, I mean, you can yeah. watch them and everything like that. It's not like they, uh, believe me, they don't all of a sudden all, let up yeah. none of these guys, regardless, the the regardless if we're trying to bad. try people out. No one, not Medina, all, Fisher, Italy, Good, uh, Ace. Know. These guys are tryhards. No, I don't, they don't like being called that, but what I mean is they will always give it 100%. They will always go in there. They do not like losing. They're like me. They're like most uh, competitive people. They do not want to lose, regardless yeah. if they're testing. And that's what I want from these guys. I want them to be, yeah. you know, 100% committed to to making these guys suffer. Because only, only when you play up against someone that's uh, sort of superior, not superior, but you know what I mean, a higher level, will it bring out the best in you? If you play out, if I made them go against just. You know, people that just really aren't that good at uh, these sort of 1v1s or aren't really good with handguns. Yeah. You know, they would own and it would make right. them look like they were really good or better than they, what they may be really oh. in real oh. life. So oh. it's important that they play against players that are exceptionally good. And that's what I attempt to do here oh. and why they need to play against them. And of course, I'd much oh. rather have them play against these guys oh. than myself because, as I said, uh, if you watch some of the other videos, I am horrible at 1v1s. I rely on my ability to sort of outthink uh, the the enemy in when I'm playing Search and Destroy. That's how I'm able to actually get a lot of kills. It's not that I'm faster. It's not... I mean, I have a good trigger finger, but the tr trigger finger is... You know what I mean? It's, it's only going to take you so far. You still have to be able to outthink the, uh, the opponents. So... Although I'm only showing you the 1v1s, uh, we do play uh, two to three search and destroy games after where we kind of watch and, uh, you know, it depends. Sometimes we do it all NGT versus all of the uh, contestants if we have them all there or we'll mix it up and do random. Uh, they both sort of assess differently. Sometimes you can excel a little bit better when you have at least uh, one or two decent people on your team. I know that because uh, you hear me ranting about that sometimes when I'm on a really crap-ass team. Uh, but at the same time, I like to see uh, sort of key players on the other side. If they're playing against NGT, the ones that sort of survived in the end, uh, you know, whether or not they're going to do like a clutch moment. If you can do a clutch or even not even the whole team, but sort of come back and are able to strategically assassinate some of us that shows a lot and it tells me a lot as well leave your comments for agent gtfo and tell me what you think